Hey, what's up everyone? Yesterday, I unboxed my Sony Xperia Z5, and today I'm on the hunt for one of the best cases for it. Over the next few days, we're gonna take a look at a couple that I've found, and I'm going to show you my top five. In and here from Udroid Mania, so make sure that you stick around. As the video's titled, I have here the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. It's a crystal clear case. I always get the clear because, well, I like to see my phone, especially the Xperia series. I don't know, there's just something about that form factor. Packaging's very minimal and green, so let's go ahead and dig inside. You guessed it, you'll find the Spigen certificate and the case itself. Were you expecting something more? Cause that's it. Have you ever had a Spigen case before? Because if you have, then you'll know what I mean when I tell you that right from the start this case has got a sturdy filling in the hand. And with that said, Let's go ahead and get this plastic covering off the back of the case. You'll notice it's on the inside as well, and that's to prevent scratches during shipping. And speaking of that, this case was 13 bucks on Amazon, but the jury's still out in terms of pricing. This is a one-piece TPU case with a hard back. Installation's a breeze because you only need to snap it in. Now it's time for the tour. Here's a quick look at the front, because we're starting with the bottom. It has precise cutouts for the USB and the lanyard, along with the words air cushion technology. The left side is solid, so you'll have to remove the case if you want to get to that SIM card. Up top, you have a spacious cutout for that 3.5mm headphone jack. Coming around to the right, there's some Spigen branding, your power fingerprint scanner combo button, and you've also got a raised volume rocker and camera shutter button. The volume up and down buttons are sensitive to the touch, just as you'd expect, so there's no issues here. In terms of the camera button, it's tactile as well. I did find the speed of the shutter a little slow for my liking, but I'll save my comments on that for my full review. You'll also find that there's ample space for your thumb to activate the fingerprint scanner. On the front, there's just enough bezel to protect your display, but I'm not worried about that because I have a tempered glass screen protector on this phone. If you didn't see the install, check out the video, the link's down below. Here's a look at the back. It's crystal clear with that hard surface. As you've seen, there's no issues with the camera cutout and there's plenty of room around the flash too. Lastly, as you can see, it works with your headphones, so there's only three questions remaining, right? Does it turn yellow over time? Does it protect your phone? And is it worth the price, right? Okay, so there you have it. For the answers to these questions, go ahead and destroy that like button and leave your comments down below to let me know you want to know. If you're new to the channel, now would be the time to click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the updates. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one.